on today's edition of the news. There's another vintage collection figure on the way, this time C-3PO. We'll discuss more of that. Wave 10 Vintage Collection is turning up in the US, already hitting stores. YouTuber Chefatron was the first person in the world to review a Black Series figure from Wave 23, Caradoon. We'll check that out. We'll talk Luke Skywalker, some lightsabers, Amazon, and a whole lot more coming up. Welcome to my television toy showcase channel. One thing I did forget in my intro was at the end of this video, we're gonna in unbox this bad boy. This came all the way from New Hampshire from a guy called Keith. I don't know what it is. I don't even remember him sending me in a message to say this is coming. It's got on it. Let me cover up some, some of his address here. First class, excellent stuff. <laughs> Let's start off with that rumor about C3PO. This comes from yakface.com. Uh, gonna join the lineup. We don't know if this C3PO will be the one with the bandolier and the little Bubba Freak. Remember that little character? Not sure if it's going to be a downsize from that full size version, the six inch one, or it could be one from the New Hope with a silver leg. It could be Force Awakens with a red arm. We don't know at this stage. What else don't we know? Oh yes, it's not a, going to be an exclusive. It's just going to be in the regular lineup. Having said that, this one will probably be for next year, 2020, because we've already talked about the next wave that's coming, wave 10. It has, as you know, wave 10. We'll move on to that story right now. Wave 10 has dropped already in Target stores in Georgia. Now I've got, I think, three different images to show you. First one comes off uh, yakface.com's page. It comes from uh, user Jerry H. There's that one there. This is Target, Georgia. Next one is via Kylo Collector. Uh, he shared this image via Darth DJ 666 and also BanthaSkull.com <laughs> via Twitter. There's that one. And they're all Target stores. I believe the Bantha Skull doesn't have a location, so let's just say it's Georgia as well. It's probably not, but yeah, they're all in the deep south. All hitting stores now. Leia, Jawa, Shadow Trooper, Sith Trooper, excellent wave, some good solid solid characters in there. Uh, the card backs all very very great looking on these as well. Um, hope to add them to the collection. As you know, wave 9 here, looking good. A little bit of news about that wave, it's hitting stores but if you go to Amazon You'll see it listed there for example, there's Princess Leia. See that it doesn't, it says it's not available till February 15, 2020. Now, thanks to yodanews.com on, I think their Twitter, yeah, on their Twitter, they showed the Sith Trooper and they had a link to it. Go to that, have a look. Available to ship in one to two days. Like that one can go straight now. They're like buy that now, it'll go straight here. I'm surprised because the others are listing at such a later date. Well, it's very cool to see. I'm looking forward to these action figures as well. They look fantastic. Speaking of Amazon, you're looking at a new Amazon influencer. Hooray! Once you get over, like, I'm over 5,000, you can sort of do things for companies. Famebit's another one, over 5,000 you can get in there. Amazon can get in there. And I created a store. Now, you guys have told me in the comments section, I'm looking for this, looking for that, looking for that. As you know, I still want you guys to buy from Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. That is my affiliate. There's always links to his store down below. If you want something that's not available, I'll put it in my Amazon store and you just click through the link. Even if you don't want anything in my store, you just clicking through my link is going to help me out. They'll counts all the clicks, linked, and things like that. It's very cool. I'll have a list of stuff there if you want to buy from Amazon. You guys, especially in the US, you get the very cheap, cheap shipping, you know, a couple of bucks and it's already at your door in a couple of days time. When us here in Australia buy something, it can take a long time. It can go in circles around the world sometimes, <laughs> as we found out once before, where I had a package sent from Texas and it ended up in Milan, Italy. Don't know how that happens. Anyway, all the links for my Amazon affiliates page or Amazon affiliates. Amazon Influencers page is down in the link, down in the description below. Please check it out, free to have a look. All right, let's move on to 
Cara Dune. Cara Dune's a character in The Mandalorian. Her action figure comes out in the next series of Black Series. Um, she's a much sought after character. We like these strong female ties, especially Cara Dune. Uh, it's number 101. And let's go to Shafatron, who has a review on it. First in the world. Check him out. This is the Star Wars The Black Series. Cara Dune from the upcoming The Mandalorian series. And he's looking pretty nice. Let's get her out of packaging. And here is Cara Dune out of packaging and the figure is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, one of the more well-made figures from the Black Series line. Here, he is. here she is with the Mandalorian. We'll put, her, we'll put him off to the side for now. And look at this figure. I absolutely love it. It's great. The sculpt is amazing. Uh, details molded into her suit or her armor. Very nice. And look at this head sculpt. This, I think, is the main selling point for this figure. It's so It looks so much like Gina Carano. And... I think they got it. They got it right. I mean, this is as good as it gets. I mean, sure, they could put a little bit more detail on that, but uh, I, I think this is as good as it gets. And, and I'm very, very pleased with it. Thank you, Chefatron. And I'll leave the rest of that video's link in the description below as well. Let's move on to... Ah, uh, the reason I put this here. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. There he is popped up in Australia on Triple Force Friday. Amazing that we didn't know anything about this. Um, check this picture out from Mitch BB 1982 I always mess his name up. Found him in Walmart. Look at them all! One Walmart seems to get all these cases and all these figures on the shelf. This is why the US is going, we can't find this figure! They all got sent to one store in Canada. <laughs> Amazing! It is a great figure. I hope you guys eventually find it in the US. Um, I don't know about you guys in the UK, you may be able to get this. Maybe at an online store. I don't know if it's available at Forbidden Planet, but it may be. Very cool. Also, if you noticed, yes, you can see it up there. I've put my red Sith carbonized graphite Sith Trooper. Brilliant. Got that from Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles, remember? I've got a little bit of footage to show you that I took in store at my local Big W. Check this out. This is the first time I've seen this. This is the Jedi Academy lightsaber, I believe. In Train with Five Masters. Lights and sounds and effects. Anyway, what I did, I checked it all out and you saw the footage just there. $88 to come up at. $88, but I have the Big W catalog, yeah, just like you guys get, real life catalogs, and the Star Wars section is right here. That's it. And it's on sale on Thursday for $68. Is that, is that coming in nice and clear? That's it. No figures, nothing but that. <laughs> a lot of other crap in here, but yeah. Star Wars. An afterthought in the catalog. There you go. I guess it's now time to cut the box open. Like I said earlier, I haven't really got any idea. This is from Keith. That's all I'll say. Is, I'll, I'll, is his name on the side? Keith. So we'll, put, we'll just say Keith. Obviously, when you guys write to me on uh, Instagram and Twitter and all the social media handles, you guys use creative names like me, Usual Mike. I don't use Michael. I use Usual Mike. So Keith, I don't know. I probably spoke to you. You sent this all the way from the USA. First class. So, okay, I'm going to lift the box up now because I've got the addresses out of the way. And this is the first thing I'm encountering. I, I really have no idea what this is. Oh, wow. I see some Black Series. <laughs> I can see a Jawa and a Mandalorian. <laughs> Let's see, Mike, I really enjoy your show on YouTube. I thought you could use these. I do not collect the six inch black series, so I bought these on Triple Force Friday. I hope you enjoy them. Keep up the great work. All the best, Keith and Margie. Well, that's fantastic. 
and packed so well. Look at this. Da -da -da -da. The Mandalorian. Brilliant. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> the off-world Jawa. Oh my goodness. There's more. Second Sister Inquisitor. Oh my god. Number 95. And I'm shocked at this one. I am shocked. <laughs> Carbonized! <laughs> Carbonized Mandalorian. Wow. I was just talking about the other Carbonized one. Yay! Wow, they, they were just not easily to get in this country. Not sold at retail. Unbelievable. This is awesome. Look. What do we got down the side? 94, 95, 96, 94. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much, Keith. Much appreciated. This is the best pack box I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing. You guys always spoil me, and I'm so appreciative of all these. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Muggy. Thank you, everyone, for watching. All the links are in the description down below for everything I talked about today. And my affiliate is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles for all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, TV and movies. Check him out today. Link in the description down below. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you'd like to send some fan mail like Keith and Maggie, P.O. Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales, 2480 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.